Good morning, friends. Steve and I are out today in the North Cascades. We're going for a hike at Ross Lake. It's around 30 or 32 degrees and a little bit of a breeze. There's not too many people out. The trail starts at the Ross Lake Trailhead, which is right where Highway 20 has closed for the winter. There's just a little bit of ice on the road, not really any snow. Sunrise is around 7.45, and so we're just past sunrise, we're at 8.30, and so the sun is starting to show on some of the peaks around here. It's going to be a beautiful, clear day. Well, here's our beautiful view. This is to the south and west. Sun's coming up, not a cloud in the sky. Here's the view looking more directly west. There's the dam, and we're going to be walking down and across the dam. Okay. Here's a view looking up Ross Lake. It goes 23 miles into Canada. Across the way here is the Ruby Arm, and that's where the Ruby Creek comes down and pours into the lake. The sun's coming up a little bit higher. Really pretty filtered sun through the trees here. It's been pretty quiet. We've seen one other hiker. He was backpacking for one night last night. Beautiful views across the lake. The trail that we're hiking here, the elevation is around 1,800 feet. Uh, the lake, when it's full, is somewhere around 1,600 feet, uh, the top elevation. We've come in about four miles now. We just passed the turn off to Sourdough Mountain. And it's not quite as cold, but in the shade here, um, there's still some patches of frost. Here's a beautiful view looking north up Ross Lake. We've come in about five miles and two and a half hours. We're almost to the Beaver Creek.
water's pretty calm today. Well, we made it to the big creek and turned around. It's the creek just before the Beaver Creek. And now we have one other little creek here with a bridge and um, Steve's getting a blow down out of the way. If possible. The bridge is pretty slippery too. Okay, he's holding it for me. Thank you. Yeah, the bridge is really slippery. It's really too cold to stop and eat. So we just take our snack out and keep moving. There's a few blow drowns along here that we could pretty easily navigate. So, uh, let's see, we came in almost six miles. So, we're gonna make our way back out. We've been in the shade pretty much the whole time, so it hasn't warmed up.